Vicki. Welcome to Make Life Special and another visit in Vicki's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making Italian roasted fingerling potatoes. The ingredients for this dish are, of course, the fingerling potatoes. And I want to talk for just a minute about fingerling potatoes. These are not to be confused with baby potatoes. These are small, stubby potatoes that actually grow in the shape of a finger. The varieties are naturally small and narrow, and when they're harvested, such as this, they're fully grown. Um, they come in different um, colors. You might find red like this, yellow, orange, or purple. And any of the varieties or colors will work very well in this recipe. Sometimes fingerling potatoes are a little harder to find. Uh, farmers markets seem to carry them a lot and that's a good place to start and also warehouse stores will usually have fingerling potatoes. So we're going to be using today in the recipe one pound of fingerling potatoes. Um, these came in a two pound bag so I'm only going to be using half of it today and I've already washed these, scrubbed them really well and they're ready to go in the recipe. The other ingredients, we'll use a fourth of a cup of olive oil and three garlic cloves, which I've already chopped, you can see. And then the seasoning for this, I'm going to be using Herbs de Provence. And this is really a savory blend of herbs that I think you'll find you'll really like in this recipe. So to start with, we'll put the fingerling potatoes in a larger bowl. And then we're going to mix together the olive oil, the herbs de province, and the garlic, and I will whisk those together. And then we're going to pour this over the fingerling potatoes and toss it together well. Hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper and uh, roast them in a 400 degree oven for about an hour. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of herbs de province. And then next, the three cloves of garlic. And I'm going to whisk this together. And then I'm just going to pour this over the fingerling potatoes, and then we'll put these in a baking dish. You know, every time I make this recipe, I'm reminded of um, some very good friends of mine, Bob and Betty, and they used to come over to my house a lot for dinner. Betty is someone I would consider to be a gourmet cook, and I always enjoyed her company because um, I would invite them over to my house, and then she would invite us over to her house, and every time we would go over for dinner, it was like each one of us would try to top the last dinner that we had. And one time I had Bob and Betty over to our house for dinner, and I made the roasted fingerling potatoes. And when Betty sat down to the table, she said, well, you've upped the ante with fingerling potatoes. So I guess the moral to that story is if you want to impress dinner guests, try these Italian roasted fingerling potatoes. So you can see here, I've tossed them, and this is really what they'll look like right before they go into the oven. The garlic cloves, the herbs, and the olive oil. And then I'm just going to pour these into a baking dish. Now, this recipe, you'll notice, with the one pound of fingerling potatoes, is really just about enough to serve two people. So if you are going to serve four, you'll need to double the recipe. And you want to be sure that you put these in a dish where they're not piled on top of each other. They need to have room to roast in this 400 degree oven and really develop the crispness that this and recipe is supposed just to have. Sprinkle some salt and pepper over this, and it's really to taste. I like to use sea salt or a kosher salt, and then some freshly ground black pepper. Okay. Now I'm going to put these in a 400 degree oven for about an hour and we'll be back when they're finished and see what the Italian roasted fingerling potatoes look like after they've baked. I've just taken our Italian roasted fingerling potatoes with herbs out of the oven and here you can see how a simple dish can really make a big impression. Here you see the oven roasted fingerling potatoes 
plated with fabulous fish and roasted asparagus. Both of the other recipes can be found on other YouTube videos if you want to check those out. And I like to plate the food whenever I'm serving it either for a family meal or if we're entertaining guests in our home. I just think that's a nice added touch. I hope you enjoy.